How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to download books on the Kobo Mini e-reader. Um, let me first go over this main screen here because this is kind of the one you're going to use uh, in purchasing books. So this is the home screen. The way you know that is because it says home at the top right here. And if you're now on this screen, just tap on the home button in the upper left corner and it will take you to this screen. Now you'll see one of two things. Either you'll see this screen, which is the bookstore home screen, or if you tap reading, you may see this. This is where it shows all the books that you already have. It doesn't come with any books, so if you haven't downloaded a book yet, you probably won't see anything on this screen yet. So make sure you tap bookstore and make sure you're looking at what I'm looking at, which is to get up to 90% off screen. Now you have three options here in um, doing this. You can tap discover, and what that does is they'll actually recommend top best-selling books for you. Uh, you have the browse option and when you tap browse you actually you can uh, tap categories and you can go to a specific category of books you want to look for. You can go to a reading list. You can also go to free ebooks and it will give you a list of like hundreds and hundreds of free ebooks you can download which is one we're going to be using for this video. And the third option is the search option where you can actually tap search and type in a specific book that you want to purchase. In fact, I'm going to use this uh, option first and um, I'm going to tap in Rich Dad Poor Dad, which is one of my favorite books by Robert Kiyosaki. Rich Dad Poor Dad and hit go. And so it will now search the Kobo uh, bookstore and here we go we have a couple of different options here these are not the actual book these are like summaries this is increasing your financial IQ it's not on this page so we're going to tap the arrow here to go to the next page see if we see it and that's kinda strange I guess that book is not available in this bookstore um, so let's let's tap the left arrow here and we're gonna pick uh, the rich dad increasing your financial IQ now you don't necessarily have to buy the book right away tap on the book itself right here and it will take you to a summary page where you can get a synopsis of what the books about we can tap the arrows here again to go through just a couple of different uh, you know kinda read the full synopsis of it um, you can pin it to your wish list so maybe you want to go back later and buy it but you don't want to buy it right now but you don't want to forget it you can tap the pin and you also have an option to read a preview and if you tap read a preview a preview of the book will actually download onto your Kobo so you can actually kind of flip through uh, a few of the first pages and kind of get a gist of if you like it and if you like it you can come back and buy it if not you don't have to so you see right now it says downloading right here that means it's actually downloading a copy of it onto the Kobo so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the back arrow here to go back. Actually, let's just tap the X here and we'll close out the search option. And I'm going to tap on reading because now I'm back on the home screen. And there it is. There's the book. And this is our little preview. So we can tap on it and it will open up the book. And it just lets you know, hey, this is a free preview. Please enjoy reading it. And to purchase it, uh, you can tap the Buy Now button. We're going to tap Open Review or Open Preview. And there's the cover. And we can just swipe to get right to the next page like that. There's the contents, table of contents. And this is kind of like the forward of the book right here. Now, some previews give you more than others. Just, just be mindful of that. Uh, some are really silly they don't give you anything so uh, this one's cool because it does give you a good amount of uh, pages to read to get just the book now we can tap the center of the book and all our options are going to come up and we're going to go ahead and tap home we're going to go back to the home screen and now I want to show you how to just get the free books because that's normally what I'm interested in usually I like to look for the free stuff first before I like to fork out any money so go ahead and tap on bookstore at the top here and tap browse and tap free ebook so that's what I'm going to do and now what it will do is load a, a list of all the free books you can go ahead and purchase and this will actually give you a gist of the downloading process and you can um, see how it reads and now we have a list here and so to go through the list 
you can just use this little circle at the bottom if you tap it with your finger and you move it it'll take you through the pages there's there's one to 35 pages I'm gonna jump to page 23 just because it was a random number and then I can look at the books on that page Lost World the magic skin, the man upstairs, the man who knew too much. Let's download. Well, before I do that, we can uh, tap where it says top matches right here. And you can actually have it go in order from A to Z or Z to A or by rating. So which one has the better rating? So kind of organize it in the, in the order that's going to work best for you. And let's actually do... A man for the summer. Okay, so if I want, oh no, oh no, a journey to the interior. Let's do that. Jules Verne, even better. So tap. So notice first it says free. Okay. So when the book is free, it'll just say tap to download. If the book costs, you'll see the price in here instead of download. So I'm going to tap download right there, and it will begin to download the book onto your Kobo. And you can actually continue to look through more books. You don't have to stop when it starts downloading. If you look up here, it will tell you, though, that it has begun to download the book onto the uh, Kobo. So what we can do is, let's say we want to stop and go check out the book. We're going to tap our home icon right here. And then we're going to tap. See, right now we're on bookstore. We want to go to reading. And here it is. This is the book, A Journey to the Interior of the Earth, or of the Earth. Tap on the book, and it will show you the cover. Then we can swipe, and we can begin reading. Okay? So that is how you uh, download a book. Now, you will need to put a credit card on file when you want to start downloading books that are paid books. So just keep that in mind uh, in the registration process. You have an option to put a credit card. You can come back and do it later. So, to uh, buy, to actually buy though, you will have to have a credit card on file. There is no IOU or pay later. And again, if you're in a book and you decide you want to get back to the home screen, tap the center, tap the home icon, and you'll be right back there. Okay. Hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you like the video if you did find it helpful. Subscribe to HQ Tech Videos and have.